Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't think in my entire life I've ever heard anybody utter the sentence, Dang, I have too much capacity on my flash drive. You can never have too much space, at least in, in my opinion. Just about a year ago, I think I picked up a 2 gigabyte flash drive for right around about a hundred dollars or so. Well, let me ask you a question before I, I go further. What is the highest capacity flash drive, you know, like a USB drive, USB stick, thumb drive, whatever you call these things, what is the highest capacity one that you have? What's How big? How big you got? Uh, $20 2 gig, not bad there. $30 64 meg. Oh, that was your first one, obviously. You only, Kissa, you only have one that's 1 meg? No, it's got to be bigger than that. 2 gig. Your biggest one, 16 gig. Nice. Oh, that's micro SD? No, no, no. I'm talking about the USB. Uh, 2 gig, 2 gig, 2 gig, 64 megabyte for $5. Is, is that, I mean, it could be worth it, you know, I guess. 16 gig, 16 gig. Okay. Well, in my hot little hands, I have got a flash drive that tastes like 32 gigs to me. Mm-hmm, that's right. 32 gigabytes right here. You know how much it cost? Uh, $100 after rebate. So $130, $30 rebate, thanks to Fry's. Gotta love Fry's. Uh, found out about it through the circular that uh, came into my inbox. And, of course, I uh, looked online for coupons at coupons.lockernome.com and uh, was very happy when this arrived today. So, for uh, a run, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to plug it in. Of course, it'll work with any operating system that can mount flash drives, and that's just about every one of them. You know, it's USB. We're going to plug it in here. It's going to mount as a drive. It's, it's a Corsair, by the way. So we're going to pull up the information for that drive, and let me zoom in. Corsair, there we go. No spotlight comments so far. Format, MS-DOS, FAT32. Capacity, 30 gigs. Well, I mean, 32 gigs, but you know, the uh, format you know has taken away some of that space. Uh, it comes with TrueCrypt, which I'm not as interested in using since I'm going to be using this particular uh, flash drive uh, cross-platform. Uh, so what can I do uh, with 32 gigs? Can it run Ready Boost? It's a good question. Uh, and using a 32 gigabyte drive to run Ready Boost is really dumb because I believe the uh, the most that Windows Vista Ready Boost can take advantage of is four gigs. I may be wrong. It may be two. It's either two or four. Either way, uh, 32 would be massive, massive overkill. Oh, Jordan mentions in their U3, epic fail. I would agree. Some people like U3. I, I've met more people who didn't like uh, U3 software. And that is, uh, let me, hang on, just l let me eject this here so I can use it as a prop. I'm going to zoom back out. Eject so it doesn't give me a warning. The LED light on the Flash Voyager d was, was blue, by the way. Well, at least it was blue while I, it was finishing the writing. It may turn different colors. I really haven't had a chance to use it. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting, U3. It's, it's there to uh, make it easier for you to have apps running on your flash drive on the go, but it's annoyed a lot of people. You can, thankfully, download an uninstaller app from U3's website, and uh, so they've made it all official, and that's the, the clean way of doing it. It's easy to do. You just click the button that, you know, clears out all the software, and then you can have your flash drive at full capacity. Um, I can't say I was expecting too much from the Flash Voyager. I, I can say it's it's like a rubber exterior, which is nice, you know, if it's going to be bounced around. Uh, there's a little hole at the end of it so you can likely stick it on a keychain. I don't know if I would. I have a flash drive on my keychain. It's a Swiss Army flash drive. Uh, it doesn't have a knife on it because I want to be able to go through airport security, but I do always have a gig on me because you never know when you're going to need it. So I'm likely going to use this to transfer large files on the sneaker net if I have a computer that I, you know, just uh, you know, want to get files over quickly. I could either, well, now I've got wireless N, so, you know, using it on a sneaker net is, is less valuable. I may actually use it to back up a variety of apps. I have, like, 9 gigabytes worth of unique uh, programs or apps 
uh, for Mac OS 10, and I'd love to be able to carry them around with me wherever I went. So if I'm on someone else's Mac, I can plug it in and, and use my own program without having to download it again. Of course, the preference may not store locally on the drive, but hey, it won't be my computer, so what am I worried about? So uh, yeah, they uh, uh, apparently make these in 32 gig capacities, and I was you know happy enough with the brand Corsair to uh, take the leap of faith and spend $100 on 32 gigs. So <clears throat> for oh, what do you, you mean it's over 9,000? No, I don't have 9,000 apps. I have like nine gigs worth of apps. I think that's like 600, 700 different apps that I keep. Unique apps for Mac OS X, and I love them all. Some are shareware, some are freeware, uh, some, you know, open source. I love them. Collect them. I love new applications, especially for Mac OS X, because you can carry the app. I mean, you don't have to worry about, well, some apps you do. Uh, for the most part, once the app is there on your system, you can take it wherever, you can move it wherever, you don't really have to reinstall it. So you could, in theory, put it on a, you know, a, a flash uh, drive. Um, you know, I, uh, I think prices will continue to come down. I'm sure a year from now, you'll all be laughing at me, saying, ha ha, it's only 32 gigs, mine is a terabyte, and I only spent $4. Yeah, 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 don't rub it in. So, anybody else got a 32 gigger? What are you guys doing with your uh, uh, all these gigabytes worth of uh, storage that you have floating around? If anything, uh, you know, as, as I said, it's going to be nice to have this. It will replace. Uh, I've got a couple of flash. I've got a Gnome Dex branded flash drive. It's got my little logo uh, on it, my face, and a company that sponsored that flash drive is no longer in business. I, I don't really like the design of this one because it kind of flips out. That's the thing. Every flash drive seems to have a different design. Um, I like. And I don't have it here, it's downstairs. I like the Swiss Army uh, flash drive because it locks in so that the, uh, the actual USB uh, portion of it, where it actually connects into a port, um, the uh, uh, adapter, the prong, the, the metal thingy at the end, um, it, uh, it doesn't really get scratched or scraped because it, it, it tucks away. This kind of tucks away, but in a loose fashion, so it's kind of useless. Uh, the uh, Flash Voyager has a rubber tip that is so going to get lost. You just know it's going to get lost. So I wouldn't say that they you know, really nailed the design on this one. It would have been better to have it be rubber. Although, now that I see it bouncing around, that's maybe not so good. Because imagine being somewhere and having it just bounce and roll away. Let's say you're on a platform at the airport and like you're typing away at the cafe. And you say, okay, I'm done. And you, you whip it out. It <clears throat> The flash drive, you know, out of the USB port, and all it does this, whoa, and then it just goes across the room. You've lost it, you know, because it may have gone down a couple levels and beamed someone in the head. Then you've got, you know, some elderly gentleman. Oh, what the hell? I'm not USB compatible. You know, it's like because he has it sticking out of his. It's a bad idea. So hopefully, it's not gonna, you know, go too far. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, maybe you guys are, are up on trends of what people might be looking for when they go to shop for a, uh, a flash drive of, of sorts. Maybe you've got the perfect one already, and you'd like to share why you think it's the perfect flash drive. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be more than uh, ready and, and willing to receive your feedback. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to drop your feedback as a you know video or you know comment whatever my blog chris.perillo.com and then of course the community of technologists the world over at geeks.perillo.com they're always asking and giving hardware advice and then of course we've got this chat room and this live video feed and this live video feed's always on and even if I'm not here the chat room's certainly there here it's IRC so you know it's the internet and it's always on we never close sometimes my stream goes down but that's because uh um the pipes get clogged so if you'd like to join us you're more than welcome to participate in these videos whether live or recorded 24 hours a day seven days a week at live.perillo.com we'll see you later